Hi, this is uh, Chris from Woodman Spirit Channel. Welcome to my channel and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, this. Now, this is the uh, Tarava Scrama, which is a, a Finnish heavy knife, uh, almost like a modern day Luku, uh, designed to take very heavy use. Uh, I bought this one from the only supplier that I know of, and that is uh, Verustalaka. Uh, that is V A R U S T E L A K A. They're a Finnish um, company who specialises in uh, military surplus, but they also have some very neat uh, goods on there, and it's uh, it's a real fun channel to uh, a, a fun website to. Uh, to look at. There's all kinds of amazing stuff on there. Anyway, without further ado Now here is the uh, 240 millimeter blade which is uh, just short of 10 inches uh, I have built Luku knife using a Perron Varsi blade which is a similar weight to this and uh, but of course that is made with uh, traditional uh, reindeer antler, moose antler and uh, alder root whereas this is uh, fashioned from ATCRV uh, two, uh, tool steel, uh, sorry spring steel I think it is which is uh, reputed to be very tough uh, and has this really excellent uh, in my opinion and According to some of the other people I know who's got them, I really do like this uh, uh, one and a half, about one and a half hand length um, uh, rubberized handle, uh, which of course makes this a, an excellent tool in, in wet weather. Um, yeah, the hole, there's a hole in the, the blade there and apparently that serves no other purpose that, than when this was manufactured they'd use that to uh, straighten the blade after forging. Now this is the Mark II version. Now, I don't know if you can tell, I don't imagine you can tell, but there's a, a variation in uh, for perhaps 25-30 uh, millimeters down here is uh, ground down to about, tw I think it's 23 degrees which makes it ideal for shaving um, feather sticks and the like or doing fine work. And hold it close up and uh, you can really get some weight behind it whereas here it's uh, I think it's around about 30 or, or just over 30 34 degrees uh, which is uh, a very good uh, steeper angle for uh, for chopping um, I mean there are many people uh, and I'm not going to be prejudiced against these people who um, are really uh, big fans of uh, battening. Um, I, I'm not a fan of battening but um, what I would like to say about this if you just have to take one two which is a knife and you intend to batten or you may have to batten because of the circumstances then uh, this one will certainly take the punishment and I will demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, but again 240 millimeter um, blade uh, it's nothing glossy about the finish. It has a steel ring on here which uh, can be used to hang it up with or put a lanyard on. I just use trail tape because uh, you know, I work in the bush quite a lot and it will be the first time while I, I'm preoccupied that I lose things. So it's, uh, you'll see on sometimes on my axes and the on the bigger knives you will see the trail tape. So if it's laid amongst the undergrowth I can see it. Anyway, this um, this uh, scrammer also comes in this uh, nice heavy leather sheath. And inside the leather sheath there is a, uh, and I probably can't show it very well from here, but it's a, a plastic insert which allows water to drain out and drip out of the bottom here if necessary. Certainly very stout. It's got a nice um, press stud fastener on here. Nice snap which holds the knife in, the, in its configuration in there and the traditional more f what I would call finish uh, swinging uh, uh, 
belt loop which is uh, quite handy. I mean some people would want to lash this onto their uh, thigh as they're walking through the bush to stop it swinging around. But this is good like in a canoe and uh, I know because I've found knives with uh, what I've called European American belt loops on do tend to uh, stick in you or s when you're seated in a canoe or kneeling in a canoe. Uh, whereas this will just swing nicely out of the way and makes it very convenient. Anyway, um, so my point is uh, with regard to battening is, um, I mean I've seen people batten with a puck or knife like this. Uh, I'm saying emergency situation, not certainly no one's going to criticise anyone for using this to break down kindling or perform those heavier tasks. But all I would say is don't be too surprised if it does break and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have money to burn. I mean, this isn't a t uh, really expensive Puko. It was uh, $90 or something. But I just like to keep this razor sharp and use it for uh, fine work. And uh, I'm a big advocate of the axe. Um, I mean, here is, a, here is a Les Stroud Bushman axe, which I've used quite a while. And... Uh, I've really come to like this. I'm not going to um, talk too much about this today, but nevertheless, it's um, what I would like to say about it is it's got a relatively long haft for the weight of the head, as opposed to this uh, Finnish Bill Nassi 1133 axe that I've rehafted, which has got a slightly shorter haft but uh, heavier and uh, much more steeply wedged um, ha uh, head. Now I would say this is probably about a pound heavier. So at some point I, I may do a video talking about uh, you know the merits of using a lighter head with a longer haft uh, as opposed to um, what I think is probably more of a Finnish Scandinavian tradition of using a heavier head on a shorter haft. Uh, I think there's pros and cons for both. Anyway, enough about uh, that transgression. I will just briefly show you the cutting ability of this uh, scrammer. So here we have some, some dry spruce. I hope you can see clearly from here. But it really uh, you know, slices through these dried out branches here. You can see it's really biting in there almost almost a third of the the way through the uh, this three and a half four inch diameter spruce. Uh, very very sharp. And this has been used quite a bit. I've not uh, I've cut wood with it that's probably been coated in in mud and the like, and uh, it's still pretty darn sharp. As you can see, there it is. Shaving off nice fine feathers.
And the good thing about this too is, if you notice on there, I've just ground that nice and square to 90 degrees and that will actually, with it being carbon steel, throws a very good spark. So you could use it almost like a somewhat unwieldy uh, bushcraft knife. Now she'll do a little bit of battening with it, just to show it is capable. So bear with me while I try and uh, back a little ways here. If I can take that down into kindling. Just throw a knot here. There we go, some nice feathers coming down. So that's the uh, Tarava Scrammer, available from Veristalaka, Finland. I look forward to uh, seeing you again and uh, perhaps having some discussion about uh, Finnish and Scandinavian axes and maybe show you around the woodland around here. Today I'm at three and a half thousand feet. Uh, two weeks ago there was two feet of snow here and today is uh, probably 20 degrees centigrade, quite incredible. I can't believe how quickly uh, uh, plants and edibles are coming, springing out the ground and uh, I look forward to showing you more of that in future videos. Thank you.